The Lord Jesus Christ will start to appear to his slash her people in a manner that has never been experienced before. One aspect of this new appearance will be in the totality of one's mind from the most within to the most without. Until this time, the Lord Jesus Christ could be perceived only in the most within recesses of one's spiritual mind where he slash she always had a seat as the most high, the most high corresponding to the most within. However, having incorporated all aspects of the physical body into the totality of his slash her absolute nature, the Lord Jesus Christ now will be able to appear directly at all other levels of the spiritual, interior and exterior mind and also outside of one's mind, as any other sentient entity or human being. Up to this point, this kind of appearance was a seeming one, as a vision or a transparent form, and not as a concrete, factual occurrence. The new way of relating to the Lord Jesus Christ begins from the most within area of creation heavens, and proceeds in succession to the most without of creation the natural or physical world. In the zone of displacement, the corresponding factor to this situation is a greater degree of distortions and perversions in the conceptualization of the nature of the Lord Jesus Christ. On your planet zero, there will be a mixture of these two states with gradual total flooding of the most dire falsities, persuasions and abominations regarding this issue until the negative state on your planet wins completely for a brief period of time. Four. One of the important aspects of the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is the new revelation about the true origin and nature of the negative state and the reason why it was permitted to come into its being and existence in the first place. During the first coming of Jesus Christ, this knowledge would have been premature to reveal. The stage was not set up yet at that time for relating to the negative state from the position of freedom of choice and not by necessity, see chapter 9 in Major Ideas of the New Revelation. As pointed out in that chapter, full true nature of the negative state cannot be manifested until it is chosen as a preferred state. Only then can the genuine learning about the negative state begin. Thus, one of the many important aspects of the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is bringing to the attention of the entire creation and the zone of displacement the true origin of the negative state and the story of the pseudo-creators, as revealed for the first time in the book Fundamentals of Human Spirituality. The integral part of the second coming, therefore, is the revelation of all concepts of the current new revelation, as transmitted by this transmitter. The proper knowledge regarding the origin of the negative state is a very crucial one. The negative state cannot be eliminated until its originating source is known. Otherwise, People would continue to believe that its source was the most high, as some religions on your planet proclaim, Taoists, for example. To assign the source of anything to something or someone that is not its true source means to be in the negative state. In that case, the negative state cannot be eliminated, because the source of its origin is considered to be a wrong one. How can one eliminate the very feeding source of everything negative, if it is assigned to the wrong source? What you eliminate in this case is not the negative state but the truth about the negative state, which is the negative state. Hence the need for the new revelation about the true origin and source of the negative state. This revelation puts everything in order and proper 77. Place setting a favorable stage for the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ to be fully manifested 5. There is a corresponding factor in the human mind to what was said about the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ in point 1 of this chapter. All processes in being and existence are initiated from within with subsequent gradual spread to without. The second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ in its essence and substance thus takes place first within everyone's heart or mind. It begins in the most within of everyone's spiritual mind. 
One of the most important phases of the second coming is the acceptance into one's heart the facts about the true new nature of the Lord Jesus Christ, as revealed throughout this book. The ability and willingness to accept the new nature of the Lord Jesus Christ by one's own free will and choice, for the sake of principle itself, for the sake of the truth of the matter, because it is so, accomplishes the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ within that person. The proper understanding of this aspect of the second coming is particularly important to humans on your planet. At the present time, no other manifestation of the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ on your planet takes and will take place. It will take place only at the level of everyone's most within. This situation will continue with humans for some time to come. Any other form of this manifestation cannot take place until its most inward aspect happens first. Thus, all individuals who read this book, and who will be willing to accept into their hearts and lives the ideas regarding the new nature of the Lord Jesus Christ, will make it possible for the second coming to commence also on your planet. The most within phase of the second coming in the human spiritual minds and hearts will enable the preparation of the stage for the manifestation of other phases of this event on your planet. What these phases will be and how they will be manifested cannot be revealed yet for security reasons. They are a matter of the future and of the divine providence of the Lord Jesus Christ. Premature revelation of such facts makes it possible for the negative state to interfere and divert, postpone or modify these events. This would make it impossible for the negative state to be properly eliminated. By this act, much further irrevocable damage could be done to the human minds. Now, the negative state, with all its hells, knows how important it is for the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, in this revealed aspect, to take place in the human's most within spiritual mind. It cannot do anything to the sentient entities in the positive state who have been undergoing this process for some time. But humans on your planet and all creatures in the entire zone of displacement are an entirely different matter. Here, the negative state has full freedom to do anything it wants, provided that its acts are accepted by humans and other creatures of its domain. For this reason, one of the major thrusts of the hells in this respect is and will be a vicious attack on the content and ideas of this new revelation, particularly on the new nature of the Lord Jesus Christ. This will be done for the purpose of making it, as much as possible, extremely difficult for humans and other creatures of the zone of displacement to accept these revealed ideas 78. The more humans and other creatures are willing to accept these ideas into their hearts, minds and lives, the better position for the final phases of the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ in the zone of displacement and your planet is established. The words more humans and creatures spiritually does not necessarily mean quantity or numbers. Only the negative state likes statistics. In spiritual connotation more means the quality and state of human and creature minds who will be willing to accept these ideas fully and unconditionally for the sake of principles, because they are true. If, for example, very few humans and creatures are really willing to accept these ideas, but they are of high spiritual quality, they will make up for the quantitative numbers. One person of such a spiritual quality equals many millions of humans and creatures in the hells. Because of this fact, the major target of the negative state will be people of this quality. It will make all possible efforts to make it impossible for these types of people to accept what is being revealed in this book. But this state of affairs is the part of manifestation of the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Without it, no such efforts on the negative state's side would be necessary. This phase of the second corning and the negative state's response to it, in the manner just described, exposes and brings to the surface the true nature of the...